mountainous region of northwest Canada at the close of the 19th century, perched on a particular mountain overlooking a gorge, Snidely, Whiplash, and Homer sat waiting. What are we doing here, Snidely? You see this particular rock, Homer? Yeah? Well, this is called Flicker Rock, because it is so delicately balanced that with a flick of your finger, you can send it hurtling to the ground below. So? Well, I happen to know that Dudley Do-Right always rides under this rock at exactly 4.33 CMT, Canadian Mountain Time. So when he passes under the rock, I give it a flick and no more Do-Right. <laughs> Gee, Snidely, that's an unpleasant thing to do. 432, 433, flick! Anything unusual happened today, do I? No, Inspector. Except after I rode out of the gorge, I had a very peculiar ringing in my head. I... I... How did you do that, Inspector? Do what? That thing you did with the birds and the bells. Birds and bells? Are you feeling all right, Dudley? one, Inspector. You just sat there and let that train whiz right by you. Dudley! Yes, Inspector? There was no train in this room. No train, but I saw it. There was this chugga 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 you know. Dudley, there was no train, there were no birds, there were no bells. Well, how about that horrible creature sitting on top of your head right now? Where? What? 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 Don't Where? worry, Inspector. Inspector. I'll kill it! Guards! Guards, arrest him! Wait. Wait. Look out! Here comes another train! <laughs> Mounties, come out from under that table and take this nut away. That engineer must be mad. What was that all about, Father? I can't understand it. It was his old zippy do-right self this morning. Oh, look out there. Here they come again, ma'am. Dudley, what happened to you? Why, nothing, Nell. I was just riding home by my usual route, and I felt a slight tingling sensation on my head. Look out! <laughs> No, it was a 16-foot polar bear. Strange, polar bears this time of year, but it's all right now. It walked on by. Polar bear? Oh, Dudley, you're sick. I'm going to find out how this horrible thing happened to you. All right, Nell, but wait till these buffaloes go by. So Nell set out retracing Dudley Do-Right's route to camp, hoping to find the reason for Dudley's strange behavior. That's odd. Flicker Rock is missing. But wait a minute, there it is, with a tremendous dent in its side. It was flicked, and I'll bet the flicker who flicked Flicker Rock was you, Snidely Whiplash. But no, I only meant to flatten them. I didn't mean him any real harm. Well, you did him harm. Homer, this is terrible. What's so terrible? Do right's a kook. But it was bad enough being chased by a sane do right, but to be chased by some nuts. I must confess, I did flick Flicker Rock. But after I flicked Flicker Rock, I had a moment of regret. You don't know how relieved I was when Dudley do right of the mountains rode on, head up, body erect, and now a hopeless knot, a dangerous maniac. We've got to help him, Homer. We've got to help that boy. Is he muzzled? Nell, what are you doing with that six-foot weasel? You see, Homer, he doesn't like me. And that gopher in the baggy pants. He ain't exactly in love with me, neither. But that's all right, Nell, because the birds are taking over the world. Soon there won't be another living thing, just these horrible birds. Oh, for goodness sake. So you see, Nell, if we take him back here to the scene of the crime... Watch your mouth! Uh, so to speak. Perhaps we'll all come back to him. Oh, my head, such a head. Wow, wee, what a headache. Say, it's all coming back. Somebody bounced a rock off my head. And that somebody could only be you, Snidely Whiplash. Come on, Doctor. He's cured. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Dudley. Nell, you mean I'm completely cured? I'll never see those birds again? Yes, Dudley. As soon as you realized it was Snidely who pushed the rock, you were cured. Oh, the birds are back! The birds are back! Can I have what I've decided to become a pigeon fancier? Every man has a right to a hobby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.